It's vaccination time here in Cúcuta, but these children don't live in this Colombian city. Most of these families have come from neighboring Venezuela to get free shots for their kids. There are hardly any vaccines in Venezuela. You go to the health center there and they don't offer you all the required shots. So it's better to cross into Colombia. Here they have everything. As Venezuela's economy implodes, medicine is becoming increasingly scarce and Venezuelans are coming to Colombia for help. These free vaccinations provide some relief to Venezuelan parents, but they're also good for Colombia. This helps us in Cucuta as well, because if Venezuelan and Colombian children are vaccinated, diseases will not spread. Doctors say contagious diseases are spreading in Venezuela due to the lack of medicine, and some of those illnesses are making their way across the border. This public hospital in Cucuta treated 80 Venezuelan patients for malaria last year. In March, the hospital also treated a Venezuelan child for measles. That's something very serious for us, because it's a disease that had been eradicated from this part of Colombia. So even if it's only one case, it worries us and makes us more vigilant. Hospital managers say that each month, this crowded ER treats around a thousand Venezuelan patients for anything from acute asthma to broken bones. Ana Guzman came from Venezuela for a life-saving endoscopy. We haven't been asked for any money, and we have been treated very kindly, as if we were Colombian. My family has a moral debt with this country, as do other Venezuelans I've met here. But helping Venezuelans is also taking a toll on the hospital. Administrators say they're already struggling to collect payments from local insurance companies. Treating Venezuelan patients who show up with no money has added an additional $4 million to the hospital's debt. If we don't get reimbursed for the services we are rendering to Venezuelans, we are going to collapse. We will return to the times when we couldn't pay employees on time or where we owed money to suppliers. Colombian law say no one can be rejected from emergency rooms like this one, regardless of their nationality. What health officials in the city want is more support from the national government and from international agencies to treat this growing wave of Venezuelan patients. Anuel Rueda, TRT World, Cúcuta, Colombia.